Hello everyone, Shabik here from Annie Online and today in this video I'm going to review the Cyberpunk 2077 custom ROM for Redmi Note 7 and 7S. Yes, this custom ROM is out and uh, two to three days back we saw in Unbox Therapy's video that he unboxed and OnePlus 8T Cyberpunk edition. So, and we saw that, you know, the the wallpaper looks like this and the icons etc. So today morning one of my subscriber requested this video for the cyberpunk edition and here it is. So if you want me to try a custom ROM for Redmi Note 7, do comment down below and let me know. I'll review the ROM and let you know guys. So without any further delays, let's begin. So in this custom ROM, I have seen that whenever you unlock your phone via face unlock or a fingerprint, a sound comes. I'm unlocking via fingerprint. The sound is really amazing and I don't know what is this sound exactly for but sounds good. Just quickly go to the settings. So I won't touch or go in depth in like for all the features why because these features are quite common. And I'll show you what is new in this custom ROM. So this video will be a quick overview as I have just now installed this custom ROM. And if you go to Wi-Fi and network, everything looks the same, nothing new. And uh, also the voice over Wi-Fi and Volti works. I have called, made a call and everything works fine. There are no issues. And uh, let me just quickly toggle the dark mode. So you get a dedicated uh, dark mode toggle in the quick setting and let me show you the about phone thing so over here snapdragon 660 now this time it shows the correct specifications for your phone and uh, the developer is msdn forever a huge shout out to the developer as in a very short period of time he released the cyberpunk edition custom rom so thank you msdn forever and in the oxygen OS version you can see cyberpunk and mclaren edition so that's good and uh, let me just sh show you bluetooth and device connection so bluetooth works fine there are no issues i have paired my fossil gen 4 explorist uh, let me just show you and it works where is the mirror OS app yeah. as you can see it's connected via bluetooth so working fine let's just jump to the settings again and uh, in display if you go in display you get the option of adaptive brightness uh, screen calibration ambient display etc you can uh, select when the ambient display to be triggered so these are the things nothing new and you can customize the status bar as per your choice and you can choose the screen server etc so quite common features also if you go to sounds and vibration you get the support of dolby atmos so if your headphones or earphones support dolby atmos so while streaming content or uh, let music or watching your videos or series and movies on netflix amazon uh, if you have the dolby atmos support it gives you a better experience so let's just go back to the patterns and gestures so again the alert slider feature it's mm, again useless why because we don't it's redmi note 7 and we don't have a dedicated alert slider button in navigation bar and gestures you can set whatever type of navigation gestures you want i have chosen this one because this is easy to use and in quick gesture you can just you know like double tap to wake three finger screenshot let me just show you it works also flip to mute etc and you can do some things over here like double tap to wake music control if you draw or some you can trigger a particular action to open an application etc so that's nice similar to mclaren edition uh, port rom and uh, in the battery if you go so again i have installed this uh, custom rom like it might be a half an hour or so so 
i can't really comment about the battery performance but i hope it should be good uh, as like the mclaren edition and if you go to accounts again the options are pretty similar nothing new over here and if you go to utilities over here you get a new option called the work life balance uh, i haven't tried out this feature but if you have then do let me know in the comment section below that will be really helpful also i'm going to make a dedicated full review for the cyberpunk 2077 custom rom for redmi note 7 and uh, over here also same you get the luxury of using the parallel apps so that's good and if you go to oneplus laboratory so in the mclaren edition rom we used to get only the dc dimming uh, feature but now we have instant translation which is same as the stock other custom roms uh live caption feature what we have in stock android so that's good to see and quick reply in landscape you can enable this option and uh, it is same as the mclaren edition custom rom and uh, if you go to the customization this is where the whole game is to level up your game for the visual aspects so if you go to the clock style in clock style you can choose the clock styles and this will appear in the ambient display and if you go to the preset theme we get four themes the mclaren theme and if we click on apply so this is how it look like and just go back to the illuminating light yeah so then you can customize the horizon light thing i'll prefer the red one and you can also customize the wallpaper by default we get the cyberpunk wallpaper over here and it looks cool but we get another bunch of new live wallpapers so this wallpaper i think it has been there in the oneplus 80 let me just save this and just show you so i'll unlock so this is how it looks like looks good but again i'll switch to the cyberpunk wallpaper and if you go to system customization you can choose the accent color so if you tap this this is how it looks like I'll go with the blue one. Just discard it. And uh, if you go to tone, you can choose the light, colorful, or dark, as per your uh, requirement. And you can customize the shape of the system icon. So I'll go with the round one only. And in the icon pack, you get the I option to choose between the icon packs. So right now, by default, it's there in the Cyberpunk. And if you tap on One Plus. the icons will change to the normal one plus icons that's good now uh, if you go to the font you can select the one plus slate font i've already chosen this and uh, if you go to the option of security and lock screen as you can see we have the first october 2020 uh, security patch so that's quite uh, latest i would say and also there is an option for fingerprint support and face unlock and both of them work fine let me just show you so i'm going to fingerprint unlock it so this is how it works i'd say the accuracy is 95% and uh, at times it misses but not an issue also the face unlock works as you can see it worked the app drawer so this is how the app drawer looks like the system icons are uh, in by default in the cyberpunk edition thing so that's good and quickly if you open google pay google pay again in this custom rom also is not working this white screen is appearing just like the mclaren edition but if you open this is go back and open phone pay let me just quickly search it let's just open it as you can see phone pay is working so that's good and also i made calls and everything is working fine the whole device over wifi nothing is a problem right now and i don't see uh, any kind of bug or something as of now 
also let me show you the, uh, show you the volume slider the volume slider looks like this nothing new and uh, that's it guys that's my review for the cyberpunk edition 2077 custom rom for redmi note 7 and 7s if you found this video helpful do smash the like button and if you're new to our channel do also press the subscribe button so thanks for watching and i hope you to see in my next one till then stay safe